Plays were plays were in man-to-man -man coverage. The guy who's in man-to-man -man coverage was cracking the linebacker. We got to get off and make a play there. Got to make other adjustments. And once again, I, the main thing I don't want you to hear that and say, "Well, that we're blaming the player." That that, that will take full responsibility for that. And uh, that, it's not that doesn't fall on the player. We got to do a better job uh, there, uh, setting the edge on the defense. Over to the left, Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Harry, you know how this goes when this kind of performance happens. Fans are going to point to you and say, are, are you the issue? How do you respond to that? How, what's, what do you, how do you respond to this? Well, my response is that I'm responsible. That, that's my job. We have to play better. Now, when I say once again, when we say we have to play better, that's not, I'm not blaming the players. Um, the, the, the standard of our defense uh, is one of excellence. The silver bullet standard is very high. So I have to do a better job. How disappointing was it today to have that kind of defensive performance? It's, it, well, it's very disappointing. Yeah, I think our kids played hard. I think they practiced well. I think they prepared. Um, and, and so that's it, it, it's disappointing. Over here to the right, uh, Tim May, Lemon Row. Yeah, Kerry, of course, there's a lot of human cry on social media, et cetera, you know, after a game like this, uh, uh, et cetera, you know, for your head, et cetera. You know, sure. I know, I know you're, you're, you're feeling the heat. But are you, I'm just. Straight question, are, are y'all playing too many players right now? Just what's your take on having so many guys rolling in in critical situations, um, especially yeah. in the secondary? You know, Obviously, uh, we, we don't believe we're playing too many players. I, mean, I, I think we believe that uh, we have a good number of players who can play. And again, to, to put it on an individual player, uh, I'm not going to do that. And so um, we're going to, you know, we're still, it's early in the season, and this is when you're, finding your guys out. It's unfortunate that it's against a very, very challenging team. It's very difficult to come out of training camp and play 70 plays uh, in a game at any particular position. And so, uh, and, we, and we have good depth and good talent. And, and we're trying to get guys and find the right combination of guys all the time. And are you feeling, are you feeling heat? I mean, what, how would you describe uh, your, what you feel right now? Uh, I'm disappointed. Uh, that, that's how I feel. I hate losing. I hate it with a passion. Um, you don't come to Ohio State to get beat. Uh, you don't come to Ohio State to get beat in the shoot. And uh, so, so I'm disappointed. We've got time for a couple more far left over there. Austin Moore, Lebanon Row. Here we all know your resume. You coach at the high level for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Is there anything about being the coordinator that you found more challenging or anything like that as you evaluate what you've done in that position? Uh, I would say, once again, that uh, Everything that happens on Saturday uh, that, that could happen better defensively is going to be my responsibility, and it is my responsibility. So we are actively working every series when we come off the sideline to make adjustments and changes and uh, do that appropriately. And again, that, that's my responsibility. So um, it, it's frustrating uh, when that doesn't get done. Over here to the far right, uh, Steve Hellwagen, 24-7. Yeah, just a couple of things on a, at least a couple of the touchdowns. It looked like the defense had been turned inside and had no vision of the ball carrier coming right by him. And I know you don't want to single out a specific player or anybody, but that just doesn't sound like sound football. I don't know if his assignment is to help inside or, or what, but uh, I don't know. Does there just need to be a better awareness among your players of, of what they're looking at, I suppose, whether it's right in front of them? Yeah, I, once again, uh, that, that's, that's my responsibility to make sure that they see and diagnose the plays and are able to play them with the proper leverage and the proper technique uh, to handle those uh, situations. So I, I, without getting into specifics, that, that's my job. Other thing, Virginia Tech team in here a few years ago, it showed Irvin's team some defensive looks they hadn't seen before. Was this from Morgan just something that you had guys just – were ready for it. It looked like they spread the football all over the field and had you guys off balance for four quarters. Yeah, I, I think the amount of plays uh, that were run into the boundary side uh, was something that they probably had not shown uh, a good deal of, and, and I think that that's where we, we had difficulty. Um, and so that's 
but again, that's, we make adjustments on the sideline, we go from there. We have time for a couple more. Over here far left, Double A Marines, Cleveland.com. Carrie, we know this is all collaborative, right? But you're also the defensive coordinator. Yep. So how much is this defense sort of your vision of how you want to play defense? How much does Ryan, as the head coach, we know he's the head coach, he obviously has input. What's the balance there of how you guys figure out how you're going to attack people? Well, I think that uh, the the defensive structure that that uh, uh, has been in place has been a successful one uh, and, and one that a lot of folks are really comfortable with. And so, uh, I don't, again, I think we have to execute. Um, we have to prepare. We have to do a good job of having our kids in the right places to make the right plays. And so, uh, I, don't, I don't know if that answers your question. It probably doesn't. But I will own all of it. And final questions, uh, far left, Bill Landis from The Athletic. Maybe this is a similar question, Kerry, but you, you basically inherited a scheme. You were hired as a coordinator and then were handed the scheme that was already in place. How comfortable are you in that scheme? Yeah, I love the scheme. I love the players. Uh, and and uh, to have uh, the opportunity to be a football coach at Ohio State in this role uh, is, uh, is a blessing, and I don't take it lightly. And so... Um, we will, I can assure you, uh, we will get better.